This video tutorial is going to show you how to create a split view application uh, for an iPad using uh, an array um, that is loaded in from a um, external property list that we've uh, created. So to begin with, you're going to go into Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this time we're going to choose Master Detail Application. Click Next. I'm going to call it my split view app. Leave it a uh, language set to Objective C for an iPad. Click Next. I'm going to save this to the desktop. No Git depository repository here. And um, so here is my split view uh, app interface. A uh, couple of things I'm going to do here before I forget. I'm going to switch to iPad 2 preview just because it's going to be easier for the screen capture here for you to see the whole app running. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do before I forget is I'm going to go click on the main storyboard area here, go to the first property inspector, and I'm going to turn off size classes for the moment, keep my size class data switched to iPad, but disable size classes um, just so that I can uh, spe specify the size of the detail view uh, that we're going to use. So, um, all right, so I've got those basics set up, turned off size classes, um, set my preview to iPad 2. So I'm going to design this specifically for um, iPad 2, iPad Air. Then I'm going to move on to um, adding the data that we're going to use in this application. Um, now what I've done here, you'll notice on my desktop, I have a uh, document uh, with the extension plist, and it's called Sites plist. And I've created this in text edit, and I'm going to open it with text edit. But you could create this in any text editor or open it in any text editor. It is a text-only document. And you can see here it's really um, in XML uh, language uh, document, um, but it's saved with the extension plist for use in this app. And you can see here that the tags I've created are really just array, um, an array, um, and then array tags, and then strings for the string properties that are going to be fed into my app. Um, which you'll see here in a minute uh, what they look like. But you can see all I have, fittingly, my detail, uh, my split view app is going to be comprised of loading in a series of websites, and they're all Australian websites. So Sydney, Uluru, the Great Barrier Reef, Kimberley Ranges, and, and more here. Um, I'm going to add this file to the um, course page for you along with um, uh, this tutorial so that you can download this plist file, analyze it, and if you want to use this as a template, all you have to do is replace your own websites um, to be used in your Split View app. So that's that. I'm going to quit out of text edit. To, once you've created your plist file, um, to add it to your app, you're going to simply click drag and drop it, as you might suspect, inside your Supporting Files folder here. Um, make sure that you're copying the item over, Create Groups is selected, and also adding it to the Target app, which is my Split View app, and click Finish. So now you can see over here that the Sites plist is there, and you can see the array items are inside Xcode, and you can open them up see what they are, and you can even edit um, these um, uh, array tags and these string, um, string elements directly within Xcode as well if you want to. So you can, um, you can add this in here and change your URLs and your um, string titles uh, right from within Xcode. Okay, so now let's move on to building the app itself. So I'm going to click back to main storyboard, uh, and I'm going to expand my window out a little bit more. So we've got some real estate here to work with. Um, 
The uh, split view controller is really fascinating how it works. So you have uh, essentially a split view controller that consists of the master view, and you can see there's a master view header, master view M file over here. So the master view is your list uh, of uh, clickable items um, that you can select, which once you select, the um, item is then loaded, the detail is then loaded into the detail view controller. Um, there's also a navigation controller, a table view, um, navigation controller down here for the iPad. So there's a navigation controller for the master view and a navigation controller for the detail view. Um, and then the detail view controller is over here, which is where the actual detail goes. Um, and we're going to have a UI web view in this window. Uh, but if you could see over once again in your um, uh, navigator that you do have master view controller header, master view controller M related to the table view and this navigation controller, and then you've got the Detail view controller header and detail view controller M file, which are related to the detail view navigation and the detail view controller itself. Okay, so we're ready to actually start adding this code here and building it in. Um, and by the way, if you did nothing else but just run this app straight out of the template, and we're running it for an iPad 2. You'll see that um, it launches the detail view alone with a little navigation arrow here. And when I click on that, it opens up the master view controller, which is a table view. So this is what a table view looks like. So this layout should look very, very familiar to, to you. You see it in literally hundreds of apps that you use every day um, uh, from custom apps to utility apps, to your uh, built-in apps, including um, your email application is a great example of this, but your settings um, application itself um, on iOS devices is actually a, a, a master detail split view uh, app. So if I uh, load this up and I click on the plus button, it just timestamps the cell, and I can timestamp all of these multiple cells here. Um, and if I click on them, it just lo loads the actual timestamp in here. And notice also, if I click on the detail view, it dismisses this master view um, window, which, by the way, is what we call a popover uh, control. So if I do that, dismisses it. Also, if I use my command arrow key to look at this and, and rotate it uh, to... Um, landscape view, you can see that the um, uh, actual detail, uh, the master view, remains visible while the detail view is changing here depending on what we have selected. So this functionality is not going to change, but what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the, um, uh, the, the code here and overwrite this and change this so that we load in my web views into the detail view over here. I'm going to rotate this back, stop, and now we're ready to start um, adding our own code.